<laughs> What's up, Nick? <laughs> um, it's always a pleasure to see you on these press runs, you know, um, and I definitely have to talk about the elephant in the room. You know, I like to take fan questions. So this is definitely coming from the fans too, but yeah. they want to know, how do you feel about Jay Hofstad's departure? Uh, yeah. Well, it's sad, right? Um, it's, it's, it's what happens in our industry, but at the same time, doesn't make it easy to, to deal with. I was surprised by it. It's, it's going to be, um, you know, for Will and Nick, uh, a void and for the one Chicago franchise in general. But uh, thankfully, Jesse and I have have become really close outside of the work and because of the work. And so we'll be able to carry that forward. But, um, you know, Jesse's done a fantastic job and I'll never forget how he welcomed me in because he really did. He was the first person I was hooked up with when I came into this universe. And, uh, and we played a lot of golf together and he's almost better than me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, 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 and he may come back. Who knows what what's going to happen with him? He's not dead. Mm -hmm. As far as for Will, you know, Will, Will is the character. His parents are are no longer living, and this was his last immediate family member, and so it's going to leave uh, a void for sure for Will. So maybe he's got to fill that with romance, you know, to cope. Hey, I think so, right? <laughs> That's all. It's always uh, when you, you have to get over some you lay. Uh, what what is that saying? <laughs> to get over someone, lay down. <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember the saying. <laughs> she said it. To get over someone, you got to get under them. She said. <laughs> no, just know what I'm talking about exactly. That's mm -hmm. it. Um, another fan wanted to know, Nick, how many tattoos do you have? They said that they saw one on your finger, and they were wondering whether it's yours or wills that's a great question i have two the one on my finger it, the both of them are mine and the one on the finger which is the reason you can see it on the show is because um it's it, wills irish catholic so it works for the character but it's not um uh a, a symbol of my religion or anything it's more of a um you know a memoriam uh memoriam memorial it's a memorial type tattoo because of my <laughs> uncle that passed so that's what that's all about. But then the other one is is the state of Ohio, uh, <laughs> uh, up on my wrist there. And that's just not that's just not well. <laughs> no. No. Um, Jesse, I, a fan wanted to know what made you decide to come back. You know. Oh, I mean, it was it was an easy easy decision. It was an easy decision because my experience and time on Chicago Med, acting with the people that I was acting with and collaborating with, and just my experience on Med was such a great one and my connection to the character um, was very strong. I think that Hannah's story um, has so many different layers and I was excited and I really applauded our writers and our showrunners and the network for bringing Hannah back to continue to see her through. You know, it wasn't just we saw somebody go through um, addiction and hit a low point and now is shipped off to rehab. We're seeing her come back and we're seeing her build her life. And now, mm -hmm. because they've committed to Hannah in the way that they have, we're getting to see Hannah beyond the addiction. We're getting to see what color she likes maybe, or you know, what her personality is outside of just trying to fight for who she is and having a stance in this world and, and being deserving to be here. And she's such a fighter. And I feel like the more time goes on, we'll be able to see continuously how addiction physically and emotionally and professionally, personally affects her. But we get to see Hannah. We get to see Hannah outside of the addiction. And I think it's really, really awesome. So for me, because of my experience of getting to come back to work with people that I really respect and enjoyed working with, I also get to pick up a character that has a storyline that I want to see carried through. Yeah, it seems like a really complex storyline as well. Um, you know, there has been many people dealing with addiction and just to see how that transcends in the workplace, especially somewhere where it's a place where it's trying to help people, you know, get better. So yeah, mm -hmm. I, I, I really love that for you. I, <laughs> I really appreciate you guys taking the time out to talk to me today. Um, it's always a pleasure, Dick, you know, we need to do lunch or something at this point. I see you. <laughs> Let's, let's, let's get some live organs and eat some organs. Ooh. Oh, that's disgusting. Uh, what? <laughs> what kind of army hammer is that? 
Trying to keep it Chicago man. Is that a will? <laughs> Unlike the tattoo, is that a will? Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah.